So we're going to pray this morning that we will discover our identity, our new identity in God. God will just reveal to us by his word who we are. Hello guys, welcome back to Sister Maya's Corner. Guys, hey. Guys, let's pray this morning and look into the scriptures. That's what we're going to do, be doing in this video. Hey, here's the book. The assignment we were given to study this book. The Gospel of Identity. Discovering who you are in Christ. Come on, it is so, so good. This is by my pizza. You discover who you are. And you walk in it. Guys, you are the redeemed of the Lord. You are a new creation, God. Old things have passed away. Everything is new. You are blessed. You are highly favored. Look at what 2 Corinthians 5.21 said. He made him who knew no sin to be seen on our behalf that we might become the righteousness of God in him. You are the righteousness of God. You just need to come into the family. You just need to accept God, Jesus Christ, as your personal Lord and Savior. You just have to accept the finished work he has done on the Calvary and walk into your identity, your identity. You have to discover your identity. Just don't stop walking in unbelief. Stop walking in defeat. You are the righteousness of God. So, Galatians 2.20 I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Christ came. He loved us so much that he gave. He gave his life on the cross for us to begin to enjoy this new life. So you are the righteousness of God. You are begotten of the Father. You are your Father's child. You are not your old one. You are not your old nature. Once you accept your new identity, you begin to walk in your new identity. And when you know who you are, you carry yourself high. And you will not want sin to create a boundary between you and that your new identity. You will just... Everything that your father doesn't like, you will not like. Because your father, your fa your father's own. Your father doesn't like sin. So why will he attract you to sin against him? You will try to live a life in the fullness of God. A life that is with no sin. Because your father cannot behold sin. And you want to get close to your father. Your father's son, you are your father's daughter. See yourself as begotten of God. See yourself as a child of God. Not the one that everyone sees, everyone falls short of sin. No. So we are different. The devil may try, may try to attract us, may try to confuse us with sin. The God always comes forth. Whenever you make a, a turn around and align yourself with the word of God, align yourself back to God, you begin to enjoy everything that your father has. Everything your father has is yours. For the Bible says he has given us everything that pertains to life and godliness. He has given it to us. Because we are fathers of He goes to um, chapter 2 of the same book. The first and the last Adam. So, in Christ we are all going to be made alive. In Adam, we are Adam sin and we are all sinners. When Christ came and we are all alive again because he has paid that price for sin. We are living in that newness that Christ has bestowed, bestowed on us. His own righteousness. His own righteousness on us. For God demonstrated his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5.8 when we are yet sinners, Christ died for us. That's who we are right now. We are not of Adam's. We accepted Christ. We are of God. 
We are the children of light. We are going to manifest the light of God in us. Anywhere we go, we destroy darkness. That is your identity. That is who you are. Don't go back to your old nature. That's nothing like old and new cannot exist in one body. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> it doesn't say it's the temple of the Holy Spirit where some sin will dwell. No. Remember, God cannot behold sin. So sin cannot be in us. That's why he hid us in Christ. That's why uh, uh, he hid us in Colossians. 3, 1, to I think it's Colossians 3. It says, verse 1 through 3 says, If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. For you died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Your life is hidden with Christ in God. God covers us. Jesus Christ came, died. So before devil can even touch you, he will get to Jesus Christ. Remember, he has paid the, 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 the ultimate price. So just know who you are. You are a representation of God on earth. You are not your old self. Please don't mix the two up. Once you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, you will obtain the righteousness that is in him. You live as a light to lighten every Gentile in your area. You live to please him. You live in him. The life you live is no longer you. You live for him. You surrender to his rulership. You surrender to his guidance. You surrender to everything that God has prepared for us because it was that he has given us everything that pertains to life and godliness. This book goes further in chapter 3. The Born Identity. Colossians 3.10 And have put on the new self who is being renewed to a true knowledge according to the image of the one who created him. That is you. You're being renewed to your true self daily. So we're going to pray this morning that we will discover our identity, our new identity in God. We we'll pray that we will just God will just reveal to us by his word who we are, our identity, so that we can walk in the fullness of God in our life, walk in the knowledge of God and who we are in him in our life, walk as children of light to affect lives in a positive way. So pray with me this morning. God will bless your name. We exalt you. Thank you for your word that has gone out this morning. May it accomplish the purpose for which you, you have just spoken this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. God, we turn ourselves to you. We say, God, you alone is God, you alone is faithful. Thank you for this positioning to your word, telling us who we are. That in you, God, we are your children. Once you accept you as our Lord and Savior, God, we're going to walk in the newness by renewing our mind daily. By staying closer to you than staying closer to our problems. By knowing God that you have made everything possible. And that you have just given us everything that pertains to life and godliness. God, that we are clothed in your own righteousness. That we are your, your children, God. And therefore, we can we will only be like our father. And our father, there in our father in God, there is no sin. The, the devil said, I can't find anything in him. So when he comes, he cannot find anything in us. Because the life we live now, we live by faith in the Son of God who loved us and gave himself for us. That's how we live. So God, we thank you that we walk in this newness, we walk in our new identity, that we seek you every day to renew our mind daily with your word, God. Because we know your word is new every morning. As we come close, as we study, as we em embrace your word, God, you will lighten our path. It is a lamp unto our feet. It is things we need, God, is what we need to straighten our way, God. That we will know who we are, God. That we will know, King of glory, that you are our Father. You loved us so much. You've given your Son, Jesus Christ, on our behalf. Father, thank you for the finished work of Calvary. Thank you, King of glory, that you made it possible for us, God, to have open heaven, King of glory. That we can talk to you vertically, horizontally, God, that you hear us all the time. Thank you, mighty King of glory. We are not 
of the devil. We are of you. We are complete in you. God, you are our father. Our righteousness is of you. Our peace is of you. King of glory, when we are going through through any trouble, any tribulation, any any challenges, God, that we still know, God, that you will not leave us, you will not forsake us. That who we are is who we are. It doesn't matter what we are going through. It doesn't matter what we are going through, God, that we are yours, God. You will see us through. God, we pray at this time using thanking you, King of glory, for everybody who is going through that challenging situations that they're asking where is my god why am i going through they said i'm of god you are of god god will not leave you not forsake you god is can only be judged faithful we judge you faithful god in every situation and we thank you god for sicknesses will bow we thank you god for cancer will bow we thank you god for diseases will bow at the mention of your name King of glory, because you said our body is your temple, God. Only God dwells in his temple. It cannot be shared with demon or sicknesses or death or anything. God, we thank you that in you we are made new. In you we receive everything that we have that you have prepared for us. We thank you, God, for your peace to guide our mind all the time, King of glory. Your peace that passes all understanding to just guide our mind. Always, God, looking unto you, the author and the finisher of our faith. Thank you for this morning. Everyone believing you, King of Glory, for healing, God. We say may healing flow, may healing virtue flow from the top of their head to the sole of their feet, God. That they will know that you alone is God. You are the God of miracle, God of signs and wonders. Anyone going through troubles in the family, God, we turn them over to you. God of hope, we still restore their hope. Restore their joy. Restore their peace, God. May you rule in every family, God, because your eyes run to and fro the righteous always to deliver them. God, deliver us from the hands of the wicked ones, God, who wants to control, who wants to manipulate, who wants to tell us that our God is no longer our God. God, you are God always. You are always on the throne. We thank you for this morning. We thank you for prayers out everywhere, King of glory, declaring God your rulership over this. Day. Declaring God, declaring God, your rulership in our mind and in our heart, God, through your word. Thank you, Father, as we continue to renew our minds daily, as we continue to come closer to you by reading your word, King of glory, by calling you in, Father, that we will have a fellowship with you and a relationship with you in everything we do. We give you praise and glory. Thank you, God, for everyone out there. God, bless as never before, King of glory. First of all, God, that all, King of glory, we come to the knowledge of who you are, God. Anyone out there that said, God, I believe, I come back to you, God, receive to the glory of your name. Thank you, God. May you be exalted, may you be magnified, may you be adored. Who is like unto you, the only wise God, the only true God. I give you praise, God. Has anyone that come across this video that will just say, hey, amen, God bless us never before, and reveal yourself to them in a more excellent way, King of Glory, to show us who we are, our identity in you, God, that in you we are complete, in you, God, we have everything, in you, God, we will enjoy your righteousness. In you, God, King of glory, no devil can touch us, God, because we are your children. We will go with that pride that we are yours, God, in every way. Who is like unto you, mighty King of glory. Thank you, God. Thank you for accepting us into your kingdom. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you for everything, God, you are in our life. And we appreciate you. Our families, our children, we appreciate you, God. Keep us closer to you, God, that we will know who you are in you. We know who we are in you always. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, hi, everyone. If you have prayed this prayer, just say amen and invite him. If you have known him, just walk as your father walks. Talk as your father talks. Your father is in heaven, is your father. Have a relationship with him. Do not isolate yourself in any way. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, if you watch my video, I'm a clinic disclaimer. If you don't know him as your personal Lord and Savior, what are you waiting for? Just pray a simple prayer. Father, I invite you into my life as my personal Lord and my Savior. I say take possession of me in any way. I turn my life around. I say, God, you have your way. In Jesus' name. Amen. You pray that prayer, say amen, and you are in the family.
enjoy the word of God, get closer to where you can hear the word of God and hear sound doctrine from the word of God and renew your mind daily. That's all you need. And you see God turn around for you. Our God is able. We can only judge him faithful in everything. May his name be praised always. May his name be glorified always. We give you praise and glory. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for our new identity. <laughs> that we don't know. That we, we know, God. That we have your righteousness, your peace, your joy, your forgiveness. <laughs> we are new in you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hi guys, thank you for watching. If you have watched to this extent, hey, like, share my videos. Okay? And I will see you in my next video. Peace.